well YouTube family, Young Dolph wife gave an exclusive interview with ABC News and she gave it with Lindsay Davis and she went deep. Maya J, I call her wife, I think she's just a girlfriend only, but Maya J spoke with Lindsay Davis to, to, to give on deeper thoughts on what she feels like and in, in, in the situation that's going on with the passing of her father of her kids, young Dolph that is. And we're gonna get into that. I need y'all to hit the links, hit the likes, hit the description box and rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute gang, yes sir. going to that interview right now. Are, are so sorry for your loss and, and really appreciate you talking with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for your condolences, condolences for your thoughts. Appreciate you inviting me here. We so appreciate you talking with us. And, and I want to start off by uh, sharing with our viewers a, a portion of your Instagram post from Christmas. In it, we see uh, you and your two boys, and you say, For every man considering to take another man's life, think of the holes you will tear in the heart of their family. Think of the hole that will be torn in your family's heart if you were the victim. Premature death hurts deep robs family of their future. As a woman and as a mother, how have you been able to, to navigate these past few weeks? You know, it's been extremely difficult. Um, <laughs> just having to pick up, you know, the pieces and to find the strength for my children, most importantly, you know, to me, because that is the one thing that ate off in myself that we just, we felt we had a, a duty to them, you know, to really protect them, to raise them, to just do so much for them and together, you know, and now that he's no longer here, it's just very tough for me to be strong for them um, and also be strong for myself because he, you know, Adolf, that was my soulmate. And when I say they stole my future, it's like, you know, it, it took, it, it takes, it has taken a long time to iron out the kinks, being with a celebrity, someone who's very busy, that's on the road a lot, and family kind of, you know, can take a, a back seat. But he finally, you know, made the sacrifices and was present. And we were doing things like, you know, planning our, our, our wedding, you know, um, having a surprise wedding to celebrate with our family and our friends. And after being with him almost a decade and getting to that point where we can submit our love um, celebrate our love story with the people that we love most, our children, that's been taken from me. And to, to find strength in it all is very, very difficult for me. And we can understand why. And the public, of course, knew him as young Dolph. But but as you just said, he was, he was your life partner, your soulmate. Uh, what was Adolph the man like? that you knew, uh, the man behind closed doors that, that you know, despite that, that public image that you, who you knew privately? He was a very charismatic, compassionate, um, kind-hearted soul. He was gentle. He was a great, awesome father. I mean, um, <laughs> like, an older lady asked me once, like, if your son turned out to be the fitting image of his father, would you be proud? Would you, would you be happy? And I immediately, without even thinking twice, said yes. You know, because despite what, you know, his music may say, like, the person that he is, the person that, that I met, the person that I fell in love with, um, it was just a very solid, moral person. And just months before Young Dolph was killed, you started a campaign called Black Men Deserve to Grow Old, which you created it in honor of your brother. Uh, the mission is to support families who have lost their husbands and fathers due to violent crime. Have you been able to find support within the same community that you created in order to help you get through this time? You know, honestly, I have. Um, I give honor to God in this because you know, I had no idea that, you know, me putting this campaign together to help my brother's family and the other families that have been affected by such, you know, uh, violent crimes, I didn't know that I was also preparing for my own, like, my own journey. 
and I have received an outpour of support from, you know, fans to different celebrities to, I mean, just everyone has been very supportive, sending the kindest notes to my team to relate to me, um, just being very supportive. Um, and I just appreciate it so much because it's that, that community support that I know that I need to just keep me uplifted. From your perspective, what can be done in order to stop this cycle of violence, especially in the black community? I think one thing that we really need to, to do more of, I'm not gonna say it's not being done, but mental health, health in the black community is something that we must address. Um, so many people are walking around traumatized. They are, have bottled up anger. They have bottled up emotion that they have nowhere to, to she, they don't have anything to do with it. Um, and they make rash decisions. Think also, you know, restoring black family within our community. There are a lot of broken homes. There are a lot of um, misconceptions as to the roles that the parents, moms and, and fathers that they play. And, you know, I think that there is the restoration of black families in the black community. And so, you know, even through Mommy Yo, how, how black men deserve kind of just was birth, it's through Mommy Yo, the mom and CEO, which is a, a, a brand that I started to help to restore the black family, you know, doing things and, you know, cook meals, come together, pray together, do different things to cultivate family. Mommy CEO, certainly a lot of mothers out there can relate to that feeling that they are already in uh, that role and, and beyond. And, and lastly, I'm just curious if you have a favorite song of his and if so, would you mind sharing what it is and why it's your favorite? Um, I actually have two and um, they're both my favorite because I call them my song. I feel like, you know, he was speaking to me, he was speaking about me. And the first would be forever um, it's Young Dolph Feature and T.I. And the second would be um, You Got It. It's Vito featuring Young Dolph. And so those are my favorite songs. Your songs. <laughs> my songs. All right. Mia J, uh, may you continue to find the strength for you and your family during this time and beyond. And, and we thank you so much for your time tonight. Appreciate you. I mean, this is not the first time she spoke up, but just to hear her words... And, and, and see, she still remember when her brother got killed, she started organizations like that, you know, to to speak up for people who needed that. And like she said, she didn't know it was getting her ready for her own mission in life, which was to get ready to bury the father of her kids, which is a tragedy in itself. I mean, Mia J, we got love for you, queen. Um, we're with you and we understand it's a lot of trying times and it's not a time to play around with folks um, I would like to say blessings to the family. I hope everything is okay Now when I contribute these type of videos, it's just to engage with the audience So you can get all aspect of what's going on with the Dolph situation So you can know that the family is still going but they're hurting at the same time Never forget that part hurting at the same time now. She did say um, one of her favorite songs, as you heard, was Forever. And I forgot what was the other one, but she's trying to go deep to tell you who her husband was, what he was, you know, and where he came from. A lot of this is sad, man, with the whole situation and everybody that they even have, you know, involved with this situation. It's just big sad. It's big sad. Be the first to say it. Nobody wins. Everybody lose. Everybody that's involved. And a lot of mamas are always going to keep being up late at night crying and wearing them black dresses on Saturday at the funeral. And that's the sad part about all this. You know what I mean? Um, much, much love to Dolph's family. Much love to the wife. I know she's trying to stay strong and remain strong. You know what I mean? People like that really do got a strong belief in their heart. They really do believe their loved ones is going to prevail. You know, I don't know how to explain it the right way or say these things the right way, but we, we hear you, man. We with you and we understand deja vu happens to everybody. So if you think the young dog situation can't get you too, don't be so skeptic and skeptical of a situation. Understand this happens to everybody every day. You know what I mean? Stay sharp and stay safe out there. Keep your head on the swivel. It's a dangerous world and dangerous game to play, man. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. 
love your family, love your kids, and most definitely stay blessed, gang. 100.